Unbelievable. One simple request, who and why, and you make a big fucking song and dance about it. I ain't no fucking bitch, Chef. I don't give a fuck. I ain't no bitch. What? I'm not no bitch. I ask the fucking questions, you give the fucking answers. Fuck that shit, dog. I ain't here for that. You want a fucking jacket? You want to talk some shit? Let's go step outside, motherfucker. I ain't here for that, dog. Hey guys, it's Randomizer here. Today we're going to be talking about a former Hell's Kitchen contestant whose name is Joseph Tinelli. He was a head cook and a former Marine at the time that he was introduced onto Hell's Kitchen. At the time, um, at the time he was a, a cook and, you know, he, basically for eight years he had been uh, fighting as a Marine, a U.S. Marine, and also a chef as well. And he, um, honestly, his cooking was, his cooking was fairly good overall. Um, actually, um, it wasn't really well, it wasn't really well documented, um, throughout Joseph's run, uh, on Hell's Kitchen. He was a contestant on season six that was eliminated in 15th place. And for the first 30 seconds that Joseph Tonelli was introduced onto Hell's Kitchen, he might have showed a little bit of potential to be a great contestant. However, he, however, at the very start, even during the uh, signature dish, um, even during the signature dish challenge, he got off on the wrong foot with Chef Ramsay at the very beginning of the show, and it quickly spiraled uh, downward from there. And uh, Tinelli, throughout his run on Hell's Kitchen, he was also known as a very sexist contestant, a very negative, nasty, and rude contestant overall, and his ex and unfortunately, instead of being properly eliminated um, during his run, he was actually completely kicked out and, and ejected from Hell's Kitchen after trying to fight Gordon Ramsay during elimination, and that's resulted in Tonelli's elimination. However, I don't want to spoil too much right now. I'm just going to be explaining uh, more about Joseph Tinelli's rise and fall on Hell's Kitchen. I'm going to be talking about that more in this video. Um, so stay tuned until the end. Tinelli was born somewhere in the time period of 1980 or 1981. If he was born in 1980, then he'd be 42 years old today. Although, if he was born in 1981, he would be 41 years old today a year younger uh, than if he were born in 1980. So yeah, the reason why I kind of know his age and also the reason why I'm not quite sure about his age, it, it's because of the uh, math I did. So I looked at the air date of season six and then I took into consideration on when season six was originally filmed. Then I found out Tinelli's age um, during when season six was airing onto TV back in July and October of 2009. He was 27 years old at the time that Hell's Kitchen season six was originally being filmed. How he got onto Hell's Kitchen was that, you know, was of his cooking. His cooking is what um, got him on the show in the first place. You know, the way he cooked and um, the delicious food he made, right? Well, at least it seemed that way. Um, when John Felipe gave the Hell's Kitchen, uh, the season six Hell's Kitchen contestants, including Joseph Tonelli, a tour of the actual, of the, uh, actual uh, Hell's Kitchen place, you know, honestly, Tonelli at that point seemed fine. There were, <clears throat> you know, at there was nothing wrong with him at the time. And honestly, at that time, it seemed like he was okay. You know, he seemed pretty chill. Um, and then we got into the, um, the very famous signature dish challenge, which is the first ever challenge um, in Hell's Kitchen. So... Whenever you compete in Hell's Kitchen, the very first challenge you're ever going to do is, 
is prove yourself by showing off your signature dish to Chef Gordon Ramsay. And, and however, sadly, it was at this time um, when Tinelli was showing his signature dish to Ramsay is when the cracks in Joseph Tinelli's true character came to light super fast. It truly all started when Gordon Ramsay asked Tinelli, um, yeah, he asked him to basically taste um, taste a component from Tinelli's signature dish. That's what Tinelli was asked to do. However, instead of just complying, simply it, um, Tinelli had to taste um, a Brussels sprout on his dish to see what it actually tastes like because um, Gordon Ramsay criticized that part a lot about his dish. You know, the Brussels sprouts were bad. And instead of um, actually tasting the Brussels, Brussels sprouts and uh, complying with Gordon Ramsay, he just asked for a fork and he just would not eat it without a fork. Um, that was um, Joseph Tinelli's response. And it was overall pretty defiant, especially, um, at least in my opinion, especially for a fully grown adult like him. What a shame the Brussels sprouts are rock hard. Are they supposed to be that crunchy? No. Huh? Have a little taste for me, please. Absolutely. You got a fork? I ain't no animal. If there's a fork available, I like to fucking use it. You can buy that. You're a big boy. I'm not an animal. Do I look like a caveman? Do I eat with my fucking hands? Don't get defensive. Huh? I was like, damn! Throw down, Chef Ramsay! Are you mad? Me and him, we're gonna go head to head. That'll fucking doubt. That's bullshit. No, I nailed that fucking dish. He knew it, I knew it. No fucking way. So, so yeah, um, that was pretty unfortunate there, but, um... Yeah, he was already starting to fall apart here, and he hasn't even, he's barely even done anything in Hell's Kitchen yet, and he was, and his performance was already starting to go down the drain. And so, oh, it would only start to get worse for him uh, from that point onward in the competition. The Shrimp Peeling Challenge. It was the second ever challenge of Hell's Kitchen Season 6. And basically, the point of that challenge was that whichever team, the men's team or the women's team, they're also known as blue or red team, but whichever team peeled the most shrimp in the best way possible and correctly um, would win the challenge and would receive a, the winners would receive a reward, usually a nice trip somewhere on on a boat, on, on a boat or something, or to a fancy restaurant, and then the losers would have to do a punishment. Uh, they were the punishments in Hell's Kitchen were usually pretty grueling. And Joseph Tinelli, being the little fun one that he is, he thought that this challenge was no problem for him. He thought, quote unquote, that he could do this in his sleep, and he overall thought. His arrogance um, made him believe that he was really good at this challenge. However, um, he proved not to be good at this challenge at all. Even though his team did win this challenge, he did not help at all with it. Five. Disappointed, Joseph. D so overall, when Joseph did that challenge, he proved again th that he would just continue to struggle throughout his stay in the competition. His attitude just kept deteriorating. And at this point, it has deteriorated so much to the fact that um, in that very same episode, after his team won the challenge, they were rewarded with a nice, um, a nice uh, lunch. Yeah, a nice lunch with Gordon Ramsay on a luxury boat. Like, you would frickin' die um, to go on to live on this boat for vacation, <clears throat> but um, instead of being grateful that uh, he won, Joseph just com was completely disrespectful um, at the table during lunch to Gordon Ramsay, and he basically said that this reward sucked and there was absolutely no point. Um, there was absolutely no point in it at all. Which overall, that attitude. Um, during that reward, overall, just brought 
and it just brought um, Joseph's team's um, it it brought his team's mood down, and it overall just made the atmosphere and environment a lot more uncomfortable and just very unrespectful. Um, you know, if you know what I mean by that. And in that episode during dinner service, things only got worse for Tanelli. So during the dinner service, both teams were struggling. Both the um, the men and the women's team were struggling during dinner service. That episode uh, <clears throat> after the, um, you know, right after the uh, reward, um, they started doing dinner service and both teams started Rocky the whole time. And they ended up ending Rocky, um, you know, they ended up ending Rocky as well. And overall, the teams just did not do good on that episode. Um, both teams struggled during dinner service on that episode. And um, Joseph, though, well, he pretty much showcased his raw arrogance and the weirdness, the weirdnesses in his personality overall, you know, just how weird and awkward is um, what he said and how his personality was overall, that pretty much showed um, in this dinner service. And um, and to also, you know, to put it this way as well, he he was also, he made sexist comments, you know, he, earlier he made, earlier in the episode, um, right after he won the challenge, he made sexist comments towards the women's team and basically said how they wouldn't do good. And well, th that night, they didn't do good during during dinner service, but, um, you know, his performance on the line was also very mediocre. During the whole service, he really did not, you know, he actually made, um, he actually made some mistakes, and he didn't really do anything to help or motivate his team at all while they were struggling. He barely even helped out at all, and he did not make things better when his team was in the rough. He didn't make things better, as I just said there, um. Uh, yeah, and um, he also was, um, you know, when Ramsey basically was just telling them that, you know, to get their act together and basically, you know, when things started to get, you know, sent back to the kitchen, um, you know, when Gordon Ramsey said something, basically, um, instead of complying, he would basically kind of like smartly talk back to him and basically smart mouth stuff to Ramsey and overall act really weird and strange. And he was overall very, um, very rude and, you know, very rude, cocky and arrogant, um, to his team during dinner service that night. That chef tells me it's cooked. That four eyes passed on to him. And look at that state we're in. Any suggestions? Let me do the fish. I'll show you how to cook halibut. Do the fish. Come on. There's five of you cooking fish, and it's still not coming out. Sorry, sir. I know we all want to try and take charge. I don't want to take charge. Would you just shut the fuck up for a minute and fucking relax? You're like chickens right now. Relax. Look. Nah, they're all shouting. Nothing's coming out. Like, like, like who in their right mind would tell the god, objectively, the god of cooking... Gordon Ramsay himself, who would tell him, I'm going to show you, oh, I'm going to show you how to cook halibut. Like, come on, man. That, that's a little bit, that, that's a little bit freaking ridiculous up here. You know that, right? You know, you know, you know how much of an idiot you sound like, right, dude? Like, if you're watching this video, somehow, I doubt you are, but, um, yeah, you're, overall, this guy sounded like an idiot, um, with the stuff he said, the stuff everything that, pretty much almost everything that would come out of this guy's mouth, it would honestly make him sound worse and worse and put him farther into a rat hole. However, the final thing that would happen to Joseph Tonelli would be during, during elimination that night after the, um, after the very disastrous dinner service uh, for both teams that night, Afterwards, they they um they sat in the dorms. They finally decided that. By the way, both teams lost th that night, and and then they finally decided who who was um going to be put up for elimination. And um, then elimination came, and and when it was um and when it was Joseph's turn to um you know 
to point out who um, who was nominated and why there were two nominees uh, uh, at the time. And, um, you know, th there were two nominees tonight. And Joseph just had one task to do. However, w however, when he was asked to do that task, and by the way, the task was as simple as literally stating who the nominees were for that tonight and why. However, when doing so, th that... That ultimately would cost Joseph Tonelli's spot on Hell's Kitchen, and it would pretty much eliminate him, and it would result in a fiery, explosive elimination, and it would pretty much put Joseph Tonelli's Hell's Kitchen career absolutely in the grave, and overall destroyed his reputation among the Hell's Kitchen and cooking community in general. Chef Ramsay asked Tinelli to nominate two people from his team, and for no apparent reason, he decided to counter-attack instead of following the instructions. Finally, he responded that his teammates could speak for themselves since they knew who they were. This response obviously irritated Chef Ramsay, and he called him a smart ass. So when Chef Ramsay asked him again, he nominated Tony and Andy for no apparent reason. At this point, we all thought that Chef Ramsay would lose his temper, but he gave Tinelli a third chance. Tinelli responded in the same aggressive manner, so when Chef Ramsay asked him to follow the directions, he sparked off a heated argument and even blurted out that he was not a bitch. The guy didn't show any signs of calming down. Just when you think things are settled, our man took off his jacket and threw it to the ground. If that wasn't enough, what he did next totally shocked all the onlookers. He walked aggressively towards Chef Ramsay to fight him. Fortunately, before it went out of control, the security team intervened. Chef Ramsay tried his best to calm Tinelli down, but he continued to hurl insults. Tinelli was finally escorted off the set. You want to talk some shit? Let's go step outside, motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah, you just blow your... The yeah, the cameras. That leaves us wondering how an ex-Marine could be so disrespectful and undisciplined. However, after the whole incident, some rumors started doing the rounds. So what was it? Did Tinelli have a troubled past that drove him to act this way? Nah, it's just that some believe Tinelli was nothing more than a marketing trick by the show's creators to increase viewing. After all, his temper tantrums and furious outbursts have entertained many. On the other hand, others felt he was genuinely enthusiastic about cooking and possessed the necessary skills to be a great chef. What do you think? Was the whole Tinelli thing a ploy? After all, it's not uncommon for many shows to pull off a gimmick like that. Whatever the case, it brings us to the next big question. Where is Tinelli and what is he doing now? Did any restaurant or hotel hire him after seeing how he behaved with Chef Ramsay? After Hell's Kitchen, Tinelli worked for a short time as part owner of American Beauty Bistro in North Massapeka. After that, he worked as executive chef at Uncle Jack's Steakhouse until taking the executive position at Taste Kitchen, which is now permanently closed. Unfortunately, according to Reddit users, there are no current updates on him, but he is probably working as a professional chef in New York. But we, however, didn't give up. We searched far and wide and finally found Tinelli on Instagram. Though there are hardly any posts, we found something striking or rather shocking. His bio read Gordon Ramsay, I ain't no... And with that, we knew we had the right guy. Looks like he hasn't changed much.